Hello everyone and welcome back to Yon channel Technical Sahel. In this video, we are going to install Fast Panel on our Linux based Ubuntu server. Fast Panel, in case if you are not that much familiar with it, it's a server hosting control panel, which is free alternative of control panels like uh, cPanel or Plesk, you can say. And because of its free, that does not mean that it's less in features as compared to any premium control panel. In fact, when I used it for the first time, it looked more beginner friendly to me. Yes, it has a clean dashboard with quite less features, but all are useful. Let me show you a quick demo of its dashboard. Let's say if we click this demo version. It's saying you will be redirected to the demo within uh, the seconds. Let's try right now. This is the dashboard uh, which looks like, like uh, these are the websites which we add one by one from here. And these are our server resources like how much allocation it has already taken and how much resources are available. Now in the management section, we got such options like DNS, users, uh, scheduler means cron jobs and databases, backups, firewall, SSL certificates, email. PHP settings, IP management in case if we have additional IPs connected with our server. In the settings, we got uh, applications like in the cPanel, we have an external uh, library which provides us one click application installer. We call it as SoftaClose. So it's there by default without any external uh, third party software. So that's how it looks like. Uh, very clean and Yes, quite less features according to the C panel, but yeah, the features which we actually need to do some work with it, it's all available here. To install it first, uh, let's deploy a server. Uh, I am using DigitalOcean for now. Uh, let's create a droplet. I'm trying it on Ubuntu 22.04. You can also choose any other version like 20.04 uh, or 23 as well. It, the command will work uh, in the same way that it's working in my case. I'm selecting this. I am just uh, trying to execute the commands much faster as we can because the current uh, prerequisites are like 1 GB of RAM and 20 GB of disk space so that even this server is enough but just to execute commands a bit faster so that it will save both of our time I am uh, choosing a good server good resources and here we need to provide the password let's try a strong password It has taken. Let me save this password because we need it every time we try to log in as root. Now let me provide this domain name. We'll use this domain to add a site. So let me provide this as a host name and PTR. And click create droplet. Uh, the VPS has been deployed. Uh, let's take the IP from here. Now to install it, we first need to log into our server as root. For this, I will use this SSH client putty.
And first, like as I always do, uh, we need to update the pre-installed packages, which is currently uh, included in the server. So let's update that. Could not get log. Let me try one more time. Actually, the server was uh, instantly deployed and I instantly logged in and run that command. Maybe it was not that much prepared to handle the command at just a fraction of seconds of its deployment. So that's why it has given this error. Now we need to install wkit library and for this we will run this command. wkit was already there. Now if in case we run this uh, fast panel downloading and installation command and we got such error related to the se linux so we can follow this procedure i will show you if i got uh, it is optional sometimes we get this error in some distributions like centos and all but in ubuntu i have never got such type of error so let's try a luck one more time Yeah, I have not got any error, but in case if you get any error, you would, what you need to do is simply open this uh, config file as a Linux in a nano or V or any text editor you like and simply find this line as a Linux enforcing and change it to as a Linux uh, disabled equal to disabled. After that, reboot your server once. So the error would be gone. But in our case, we did not uh, find such type of error. It's simply installing so let's wait till it finishes off As the fast panel has been installed on our server now before we take a tour of fast panel dashboard uh, let me add some dns records so that it will propagate in the meantime and i can show you the website edition in the fast panel as well so let's uh, click on advanced dns and let me add three important records and click save changes now let's uh, visit this uh, url mm, let me wait a minute we need to remove this gap i don't know how it's showing me in this weirdly, but in your case, if it's showing like that, simply do some manual work in the URL bar. Proceed to unsafe. Username is fast user every time whenever you install fast panel and password. This is the password which we need to copy. Yeah, first we need to issue a license uh, and for this, we simply need to get it for free. Here I have already logged in. So let's first uh, exit this. Let me sign up again to show you the process. I got two emails, uh, email confirmation, that's the first. So let's copy this link. Email has been verified. Now let's find the credentials, login credentials in the fast panel. Let me copy this password.
and let's try login. Now this is the dashboard means from where we manage our licenses like uh, if we want to install multiple times fast panel on the different different servers so we will manage uh, this way it's absolutely free the billing cycle is unlimited so no need to worry at all in the my services currently it's blank now when we activate a license it will show uh, at here uh, wait a minute I'll show you we need to provide the same email which we have used to create account on fastpanel.direct uh, request license Now let's uh, refresh. The license is there. Let's again. Uh, Check this by logging in. Oh, sorry, that's the uh, this credentials we need to provide here. Uh, let's cancel this and click accept here to accept their agreements yeah this is our panel means that was the demo but this is our actual panel which currently does not serving any website and the allocations are also very less uh, these are the allocations which is taken by the uh, fast panel like 2 GB of RAM we have and 327 uh, 392 MB it's currently in use and this is the processing power which is currently in use 1.48 or 49 percent and this is the disk space which has taken by uh, fast panel so let's add a new website click add a website create website and select here uh, create a site manually in which domain to bind uh, provide the same do I'm providing the same domain check this create email domain if you want to add uh, business emails as well uh, in this fast panel and click next step Uh, every make sure to check everything like database we also need FTP we also need and after that uh, click create site uh, it will take a few seconds no it has taken in the me it has uh, created in the meantime let's create the site card uh, that's our username uh, SSH username and that's our root directory and these are the options like we got in the C panel of less FTP file manager database. But before this, let's uh, visit this website once. This is the default page of uh, fast panel, which is where we are getting from here. Let me click file there are two files index.html and index.php i guess this is the high priority file if we edit this it will reflect here uh, let me do some change let me remove the css
also this long SVG images as well. And let me remove this JavaScript as well. Let's try make it simple. Let's click save. And now if we refresh, uh, it has uh, not make any change. So let's edit the other file index.php. This is the same thing. I guess it has given the higher priority to index.php instead of index.html which is quite unusual like if we read the apache index let's try editing this web page this web page index.php i hope everything is okay That's the uh, file index.php. It has taken the high priority, but in the PHP, they have they have written the HTML code uh, just same like index.html. So let's try a PHP code to see it's uh, executing the backend scripting or not. Let's write the same thing in PHP. And let's refresh yeah it's working so that's how we can uh, add create a website and simply we need to delete all these two files and we need to upload our own website files here and it will work either it's html or php does not matter now let's uh, check some other options like what we got in the side card from here we can manage ftps database uh, SSL certificates also come for with free uh, fast panel domains DNS uh, cron jobs PHP settings uh, some more general settings and uh, site access means the SSH for CGI access backups emails and some other scanning options and subdomains as well so that's how it looks like and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching it till the end